What happened to regional fruit and vegetable variety development? We talk to a few plant breeders about what plants and seeds thrive here in our Midwest region. This is Matthew and Nancy Cost, who started the Buffalo Seed Company to increase sustainability and diversity within the local food system. Through the history of the United States, you know, following the Great Depression and the Dust Bowl, we lost a substantial amount of crop diversity as things begin to centralize within the food system. You know, a lot of those varieties in the Midwest have just they're just gone. The Midwest didn't archive as many native seeds compared to other regions in the United States. This is Keith Mueller, a horticulturist and plant breeder who focuses primarily on tomatoes. A lot of vegetable varieties out there are what's called widely adapted. So the seed companies want to have something to sell throughout the United States. But we want to look at things that do better within a region. These plant breeders are adapting seeds that will thrive natively in this environment. You know, I mean, we're in a, you know, a civilization now where there's a lot of cultural diversity and, you know, we see this as a strength. So we're seeing that this is a time where we can bring essentially native varieties from different parts of the world that, you know, match this climate, which native to the environment, so to speak, and potentially native to the cultural diversity within the country. You know, as we kind of integrate that in, we see that, you know, this is the future of food. So I work with wild species, and I'm trying to recover traits from them that have to do with the volatiles and the different pigments, the carotenoids, that all affects flavor. I'm really interested in developing better flavors. It's kind of bland, actually. The way that we're breeding is not by us selecting things out of a population, but rather putting diversity on the landscape and then letting the land and the environment pull out what it wants out of that diversity. You can really grow a lot of things. We grow watermelons, beans. As, as of right now in the field, we have at least 24 varieties of beans. They also grow varieties of okra, peanuts, corn, cotton, and more. I never eat before a cowpea until we grew cowpeas and, and we grew a lot of them. They just love it over here, the weather, the soil. They love the weather of Kansas City. And we were selling seeds. We don't sell that much of the cowpeas. It is tasty. This year, they have over 120 varieties of crops with seeds from around 30 different countries. What I'm doing is I'm breeding under organic conditions. And not a lot of that has been done in the past. Most of the tomato breeding has been done with commercial chemicals, fertilizers. The tomatoes themselves adapt to those systems over time. So I wanted to see what things do with less input. There's a trend starting to do that now with different vegetables, but mostly out in the coast. So very few people are doing it for the Midwest. As far as just localizing everything, you know, you, you eliminate what we generally would call exploitation. Not every part of the chain is getting what it should. The earth is not being respected like it should. The workers are not being respected like it should. And that's where that $2 instead of $3 tomato came from, right? Is that somebody else didn't get what they deserved out of it. They are hoping government policy will change to benefit farmers who focus on diversity as it does with monoculture farmers. I grew up with mainly with grandparents and they were always like, if you throw a seed on the ground or a food in the ground, they cry. I'm the one who mainly packs the seeds and I send them as like I'm sending like a little kid. We really care about them and we really make sure like they're well taken care, you know. Also for the future generations, you know, where they can have access to diversity and probably they can learn how to cook it better than we do. <laughs> now, people how can change their diet to more local ingredients, I think that's the biggest challenge to me.